designation screen in Enterprise Anywhere is a place where you can set up your larger pieces of equipment that are tagged or designated with an identity within your estimate. And uh, that's the, the, the purpose of this particular screen is to detail out that piece of equipment so that everything is included and when it's uh, ready to be used in your estimate, all the pieces are going to go with it. Now, uh, here again, we've got a folder structure and with from that folder structure we can see what's on in those folders on the right hand side of the screen. So I'm going to show you an example here of uh, some distribution equipment that you could typically use uh, when you're preparing to do the takeoff of that equipment. Now in this case we've got uh, in our folder structure we've got template designations that you can use to get yourself started and these are already pre-prepared for you so that you can easily identify uh, the piece of equipment on your on your uh, equipment schedule and you could do something like you could copy this and paste it into your distribution folder that you're going to use when you're actually doing your takeoff. Again, these are templates and the ones that you really want to use are going to be in this folder structure here. So if we paste that, then a copy of that particular uh, panel board is going to be in that folder and now we can change it so that it can be the piece of equipment that shows on our schedule. So if we double click that, it uh, opens up an editor so that we can say, okay, well, this is um, uh, PB-100 and that's basically the designation that that particular piece of equipment has on the estimate that we're looking at right now. Now there's some general information here. Um, there's an alarm that can be set in case you want to make sure that you come back to this later on to price it properly um, or you can just leave it off and the information for this panel board like this name is going to be forwarded to your quote screen later on for pricing so that is the the identity of this particular item and the PB 100 is going to be the uh, the name on the quote that you get for that particular panel or it'll be included in the list for a bulk price. So the other information here, if there are uh, components that you've added, like additional costs that you might have for this particular panel, then you could type them in here. And I'm just going to uh, quickly say, okay, uh, let's say bolts. And uh, you could put in a price of, you're going to have $10 worth of bolts, and you're going to take another 0.5 hours to install those. Then that would be a, an additional component part of this particular panel. Now, the parts for it are already detailed down here. So there's the panel itself, which is a component in the database that's been picked up. If we click on this, we could see where it was uh, picked up from. And so th that's been picked out of the database in the electrical equipment file. So we've navigated down, we've picked up this, this particular panel, and that's, that's the one that's been included in this list of material that's going to ultimately make up this PB100 panel board. So we can select the specific type of panel board that we need. Uh, it's a, let's say, uh, it's a 400 amp 18 circuit. Then we could say that that's the uh, particular piece of equipment. It has uh, labor 3.2 hours, and this one happens to be surface mount. So surface mount, recessed, uh, there's different um, template templates for each one of those. So in this case we've got a total of 18 circuits and uh, we've got some hardware that's included. Now that hardware is not going to be included in the estimate and so there's no check mark here. So we do not check any of the items that are not going to be included with this particular uh, panel. So these items will go into our extension screen and will be uh, priced or labored independently from that particular panel board. So if we need to change the quantities of any of this, we can do this now. We can say, okay, there's, uh, okay, we got four 
uh, wedge anchors. Uh, we're obviously not going to have 40 number 12s in here because it's an 18 circuit board. And so we may have uh, 10 number 12s, 2 number 10s, um, 2 more number 8s, and and two number sixes. And then the uh, the main conductors coming in, there's going to be a total of four terminations for those. So these are all the details that go along with that particular panel board. And this is kind of an assembly that we construct in order to take off all of the information that we need in order to account for all of the work that's involved in that particular panel board. So once that's complete, then we can close this out and say, okay, that's ready to be uh, used in our takeoff. The same thing applies to lighting. We've got some templates here that may be your standard types of uh, lighting that you're going to need from your lighting list. Then uh, you can copy and paste these into the lighting folder and detail them as required for that particular light that's uh, uh, listed and detailed on your drawings. We hope you enjoyed this video. Visit mep.trimble.com for even more product resources.